subscribe to mastermind channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos so hi guys this is varsha and you're watching mastermind so friends in this session i'm going to show you all the books that you have to uh, purchase if you're going to isc board and if you're taking up science so i'll be showing you all the books including your mathematics what are the chapters that you have to study in mathematics and what are the books that you have to uh, follow so firstly i would like to start with your mathematics book so this is your maths book if you can see it clearly this is your maths book isc mathematics and it is for class 11 and this is your s chan books so friends if you are planning to take up science whether you are a commerce student or whether you are a science student if you are planning to take up maths then i suggest you to purchase this book you can also purchase ml agarwal book but if you purchase ml agarwal book then mind you you will have two volumes of book part 1 and part 2 you will have two volume volume 1 and volume 2 and if you purchase that then you will have to study two books but if you purchase this book then you will have to study only one book and you can see the thickness of this book this book is quite thicker than your ml agarwal book because ml agarwal book the chapters are distributed there in two parts two volumes but here whatever chapters are there all the chapters are here also and that ml agarwal that is just for your reference purpose but this book is this is the main book which is followed in your school so you can purchase this book and now what are the this is your s chan books now i'll be discussing what are the chapters that are there in your maths for syllabus for class 11 so this is the content this is the content now i'll be reading out what are the chapters so firstly you have sets first chapter then you have relations and functions chapter 2 then you have angles and arc lengths after that you have trigonometry so friends trigonometry as i've already said you trigonometry this is there in your each and every board whichever board you go if you are taking maths then you have trigonometry you have to do that and trigonometry the formulas that are there there in class 11 there are a new number of formulas that will come it is not like your class 10 it is even more tougher than class 10 so i suggest you to uh, i recommend you to do it from now only so that it will be easy for you when your schools will start and some of you your schools have already started new session for 11 it has already started so what are the next chapters that are there you have pro properties of triangles then you have mathematical induction pmi that is principle of mathematical induction after that you have complex numbers then you have quadratic equation this was there in your class 10 also then you have linear inequality so this was also there before uh, level will be upgraded but it will not uh, new formulas will come now you have permutation and combination after that you have binomial theorem then you have sequence and series so friends i have i have already said you in my previous videos that the sequence and series this is nothing but it is this is your ap and gp that is arithmetic and geometric progression which was there in your class 10 then you have coordinate geometry the co from coordinate geometry what are the chapters you have straight lines uh, and then you have circles and basic concepts of point and their coordinates after that you have limits so this is the new chapter that has come limits and differentiation this was not there in your class 10 it is there in your cbse also limits and differentiation then you have statistics and probability measures of central tendency then you have probability and then you have conic sections this is the last thing that is there one more thing is there 3d introduction to 3d geometry and conic sections there are three parts hyperbola parabola and ellipse so friends these are the chapters that are there now i would also like to mention that whether you are going to isc board or whether you are going to cbsc board the syllabus what what the chapters that are there in your isc and the chapters that are there in your cbsc both are more or less the same if you talk of maths or whether you talk of any other subjects physics chemistry biology the syllabus is more or less same but english you know it is different you don't have any novel in your cbsc uh, cantwell goes was there but now it is removed from the syllabus of cbsc it is not there it is no more there but for isc you will have a drama part that is novel and you will have other poetry and prose sections but in cbsc you don't have but if you talk about science subjects what are the subjects physics chemistry and biology if you talk about that and the chapters which are there in your mathematics it is more or less the same so you don't need to worry that you are in isc board and you are lacking some things uh, some of the chapters and if you are in cbsc board you are lacking what isc students are studying it is more or less the same now what are the other books for physics chemistry and biology so no need to show different different book it is here only you can see the picture of the book isc physics book as you can see here this is your isc physics book after that isc chemistry book is also there then you have isc biology book you can see the picture this is your isc biology book which will be followed in your school and this is if you are a commerce student so this is the isc commerce book and this is volume 1 so you have two volumes for your commerce for your commerce book and all our estian books whichever books are here all estian books are followed in your school for isc so 
these are the books now i'll be reading out what are the chapters that are there in your physics chemistry and biology so the chapters that are there i'll be reading out biology what are, first of all i would like to start with biology so what are the chapters that are there in your biology so first is diversity of life where taxonomy is there and five kingdom classification is there then you have mineral nutrition then you have plant growth after that nutrition then you have respiration chapter then you have uh, circulatory system so this was there in your class 10 also now also it's there circulation circulatory system then you have excretion so this was also there in your class 10 after that you have endocrine system so endocrine system this was there in your class 10 also nervous system is there you all know that it was there before also after that you have biomolecules so this is a new chapter this was not there in your class 10 so these are all the isc chapters of biology what what is there uh, whatever chapters are here in cbse also more or less the syllabus is same so you get more or less the same chapters then you have cell division so friend cell division it is there it was there in your class 10 also so it will be easier for you and you have ecosystem and pollution chapter is there so friends more or less the syllabus is same and you don't need to worry if you study biology is average biology is not that tough it is just like your class 10 level but physics you have to focus more on physics because in physics you get many analytical questions so you have to study physics you have to study physics and mathematics also you must be practicing you must practice some of the chapters from now only and some of you already your school it has opened new session for for class 11 it has opened so you all are doing now now what are the chapters that are there in chemistry so first chapter it is some basic concepts of chemistry after that you have atomic structure then you have periodic table so this was there in your class 10 also then you have chemical bonding then states of matter is there that is solid liquid and gas that is a chapter after that you have surface chemistry then you have thermodynamics so friends thermodynamics this is a important chapter in chemistry then you have redox reaction as a chapter and then you have organic chemistry so friends organic chemistry it is little bit tough now it is uh, class 10 also in class 10 also it was tough and th this was a long chapter a lengthy chapter now also there are a many new number of things that will come so you have to study that many new things are there for organic chemistry so you have to study that after that you have environmental chemistry this is there in your cbse also so this these are the chapters that are there in your chemistry now what are the chapters that are there in your iec physics the chapters that are there i'll be reading out what are the chapters so first is role of physics role of physics is there then you have units chapter then you have dimension where you have to find the dimensional formula and all after that you have vector and scalar quantities then you have thermodynamics so thermodynamics this is there in your chemistry also as well as as well as your physics also then you have friction and then you have cir circular and rotational motion circular and ro rotational motion is there then you have gravitation chapter then you have fluids after that you have oscillation chapter and then you have waves so these are the chapters these are there in your cbse also so friends these are the chapters that are there now i would also like to mention that whatever chapter if you want to crack neat examinations neat exam or iit examinations so no need to worry the syllabus it is not that from ncrt books only you have to study if you study iic books also then you can do well because whatever chapters are there in your cbsc more or less the syllabus is same i am repeating whether you study in iic board or whether you study in cbsc board the main thing is that you have to study properly it does not matter whichever board you are you have to study well and you can surely do well so this was the video there is nothing more to say so i end here thanks for watching this video if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel much to me and yes do comment us if you have any doubts or queries related to your board exams or anything we are surely going to help you thank you